Hey everybody and welcome back to the Full Circle Network. I'm Editor-in-Chief of FullCircleCinema.com, Jackson Hayes, and we're back after a long hiatus. Um, we didn't expect to be gone so long, but um, you know, that, you know, with things outside of our hands, we weren't able to get this review up as early as we wanted to. Um, the screeners for the episode came in a little late, so that's why not everybody's here. It's kind of a rush. Um, we actually got them uh, this past Wednesday, which is the 4th, and the reviews are up for the, uh, the embargo's up for the review the 5th, so we have to kind of pump this out really quick, so it won't be as long as we, we usually... We usually do in the in the, the definitely the way we intended. So uh, today I'm joined by uh, Colin Stetzner. Yep. Hey guys, I'm back, and I'm sorry this is late. Like Jackson said, we I, I don't think the screeners actually came in until like four o'clock Eastern time. So it was it's even more of a mad scramble. Yeah, it's very late in the day. We had kind of had to run this together. We had to you know the episode was nearly an hour long, so we had to you know run watch as fast as we could and then try to get this up. So. Um, so yeah, we're here to talk about the the season premiere of uh, season two, which is titled Trigon. Uh, picks up right where last season left off in that big cliffhanger. So Colin, let's just start. Uh, this is non-spoiler, by the way. Um, okay, uh, spoiler non-spoiler. reviews are yes, no spoiler reviews are, are not allowed until Friday morning. We're gonna try to, our best to get this up Thursday, and it's probably likely the next few episodes will be spoiler reviews because the embargoes will probably come up the day that it releases. So this one will probably be the only one that's not. So uh, we'll just run through our thoughts quickly, Colin. So give me your overall thoughts on the episode. Look, overall thoughts. I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest with you guys. The first half of the episode struggled uh, mightily with me. It was just like season one, which I was not a fan of. And look, we uh, we you know speculated this going in. Uh, all of us who watched and get these screeners and other people who watch this show, uh, we just talked about it. Obviously, we thought this was gonna happen. Look, the season one. I'm gonna be honest. I I could not get behind it. And the only episode I liked was Doom Patrol, and it looked like this was gonna be the same thing that happened and it was the first episode i am not quite a fan of look the second half of the episode does give us some more stuff to look forward to which is going to be really promising i'm telling you guys like we've we've speculated this the first half was going to be kind of bad as they finished up and wrapped up season one things but look season season two stuff it's looking forward i liked the direction this episode headed into um, yeah, I'm going to piggyback off that. Um, I was definitely a little more optimistic about the episode as a whole because it left such a good taste in my mouth by the end because of the back half and everything that was set up for the rest of the season. Um, if you were not a fan of the first half and the Trigon storyline, um, I don't think you're going to get much out of this episode, to be honest. I mean, until that halfway mark kind of kicks off. Um, it it definitely, it's, it's direct and they kind of had to. They kind of painted themselves in a corner with that kind of sloppy ending and they basically reshot the entire finale. I mean, a lot of those images that have came out uh, towards the end of last year and the beginning of this year uh, that kind of showcased what the finale was going to be like. I mean, the, that was all more or less scrapped and we kind of felt that from the trailer and all the promotion that we've gotten so far. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of like a tale of two episodes. There's definitely some good stuff in the first episode, in the first half. It's, you know, there's some good character moments and it's some great. And, the, the, some performances are great. There's a, a scene or there's a certain scene that I know I really enjoyed that I'm sure you enjoyed. Yeah, there's there's some interactions I really enjoyed, like back and forth between characters. Um, and then you know that 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 end kind of happens. We kind of wrap up that story and we move into what's coming next. And you know, if you if you've been paying attention, you know we're not going to get into specific details here about what about what what that may be. But um, it was exciting just to get these characters back. I mean, it's been almost a year. Uh, since we since we've seen them and you know it's been a long hiatus since the end of Swamp Thing and you know that was a whole mess and we were all left a little disappointed for sure by the end of that so I was just happy to get back into this world and you know get with these characters that I you know grow to become a fan of over the first season so I mean yeah I mean I'm definitely gonna lean positive I pretty much expected this uh, but just because of how messy the end of last season was and they didn't wrap it up and they left us on that cliffhanger like we kind of knew going in that this is we're gonna have to wrap all this stuff up and we don't know you know where it's gonna go but um, I think they did a serviceable job doing it. I don't think it was perfect by any means. Um, but listen, <clears throat> you know, forward and onward. Just move on to the next stuff, and I'm good to go. All that stuff was really working for me, and I, I expect it to go even further than that. Look, uh, Brenton Thwaites, as, you know, Dick Grayson, he does a great job, and he's probably, once again, the standout of the episode, even though, well, I know I can't talk about it, but, you know, he still is probably my favorite part, which sucks because you know there's so many characters in here that i want to see stuff going but he still he still steals the show for me thank god and uh look the the beast boy and raven stuff it's still is a little weird to me and that's just the age but um i'm agree i'm agree with that they definitely kind of leaned a little bit in there in the in the, in the first half and it was like oh man like i definitely wasn't digging that last season you're gonna keep that going but that seemed to be stuff they'd already shot and just kind of kept in 
Yeah. Um, the Raven stuff was rough. Um, you know, she is a young actress, and she's kind of thrust in, into the forefront of this ensemble show. And it's obviously not an easy easy task to take on. And hopefully she gets to play a little more, not in the background, but just, you know, as with the ensemble. And she doesn't have to be the character, the forefront. Obviously, uh, Dick is the lead of the show, but her it was her story being told, and it was a little... She was. It was a little overwhelming, you could tell, for the character and for the actress, it seemed. But, uh, you know, as we move forward into this, this other portion that doesn't seem to have anything to do with that past stuff, um, we'll, we'll get to see everyone kind of play and, like, come out and, and develop their characters more, especially the past Titans. Um, you know, based on the trailer, we see that kind of connection. So, yeah, I'm, I'm pumped for that. Um, but, yeah, it was rough. Um, I mean, I did, I did love Kern Walters was back as Jason Todd, and that was super exciting. I mean, I love that character. He definitely, you know, pushed forward with that... With that cocky, you know, that cocky ass kid attitude, and I was really digging that. Hawk and Dawn, or Hawk and Dove, were great. Um, Hank and Dawn, um, so I was really digging that as well. Um, anything else before we try to wrap this up? I mean, we're sorry it's so so quick, but you know, we can't we can't really go into detail here, and we don't have as many people as we'd like because we don't really have the time because we have to pump this out really quickly. Yeah, no, it's a terrible situation. I hate that we can't have everyone on here. I feel so bad that Marcos can't be on here. That this is his show, and every, you know, this is everything about him is his, but. Uh, look, like you said, Jason Todd is fine. Uh, look, I think that might that act could wear thin on me by the end of the show. Uh, well, end of the season. I mean, I don't know if this season will be the end of the show. Who knows anything about the DCU? But look, everyone else is everything is fine about this. You know, be optimistic. I'm Jackson is being optimistic. I'm saying this episode left me with a little sour taste just because that first half was so blah and season one ask yeah, for me. And I'm not I'm not gonna call anyone out that feels that way. I feel I feel like that's completely understandable and that's exactly how I like felt going in and what was going to happen. I was like, oh man, they're gonna have to wrap this stuff up that I didn't like, wasn't interested in all. I mean I was checking my phone a little bit in the first half and as excited as I was exactly, that's to watch I was the episode too. again. I was like, oh Titans is back, Titans is back, Titans is back and then it started, I was like, oh man, this stuff again and I was just kinda like zoning out and you know not really paying attention and like, oh here we go, Trigon and Raven, you know, and their banter. It's not really that interesting. Um and I feel like, I mean, one of the biggest problems was that that was such a big thing to tackle, like, from the get-go. Like, if you watch the Teen Titans cartoon, which I'm, I'm a huge fan of. Oh, like, yeah, that, the, that, the old that was the over cartoon was great. Yeah, that was the overarching storyline was Raven and Trigon and him trying to take over the Earth. That was like a, like a full force with the team had to deal with. This man's so powerful, we had to deal with Raven's powers. But like, we didn't know Raven at all. And, like, from the first episode, Trigon was trying to hunt her down, and we were like, we don't even know anything about her. And, uh, you know, she got to use her abilities a little bit in this one and definitely got to explore that more, but it was just like, it was like, oh man, like this, this, this would have been much better as a, as a bigger storyline. We started with maybe Deathstroke in season one or someone a little smaller just to, just to get the flow going, but it wasn't, yeah, it didn't hit on all cylinders for me for sure. Nope. Yeah. That, that storyline wasn't, it shouldn't have been this early and it didn't, it obviously isn't planned out or it panned out. I mean, it hasn't, at least for me, I haven't enjoyed it, but. Right, and I'm bummed that it didn't get to wrap up necessarily, I feel like, the way they wanted it to. And obviously that's, you know, they cut some episodes and they moved it into the next season, so that's on them. Uh, it's not on us as viewers to, like, give them the benefit of the doubt there. But obviously there was a different ending in place, and I feel like it would have ended... It, it, had it been more drawn out and we had more episodes, I feel like that, you know, would have been a little more uh, easier to take in. And I mean, but that's been indicative of, you know, the first... Two of the first three original series they've put out with Swamp Thing as well. Where you know the episodes got cut and it was very obvious what had happened, and then it just kind of ended. And but the same thing happened with Titans, and it just kind of ended. And then we didn't know really where to go from there. So, I mean, uh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna lean more glass half full than glass empty for this episode. I mean, I don't know what kind of like if you wanted to give it one out of ten, Colin. Oh, see, I hate I hate doing one out of okay, ten. Okay, okay, if you hate it, reviews. I'm gonna I'm gonna go well, like a seven. Just, it just, just it if it's so hard for me to like because I'm like oh it was is it a seven is it a six is it a five you know it, my opinion changes it's in flux because I'm indecisive. I mean that's fair enough and and to be honest with you guys I finished watching this episode maybe half an hour ago forty five minutes ago so like I haven't been able to digest anything. Like, yeah, uh, this was a rush. I literally sent a message in as soon as I finished the episode. I was like, what are we doing? When are we gonna like we got to get this done? But look, I will say if I'm gonna give it something, I'll give it a six, and the six is just because. I'm optimistic about the future of this. And I mean, I completely, I completely there. I just like the back half of the episode, like rather than I kind of just forgot about the other stuff immediately. Like there was a clear split. And once we got to that split, I was like, okay, 
I'm I'm way more invested. Like I'm gonna watch. I didn't it check my phone during that split. Or, no, after I'm gonna, that split, I'm like, oh, new stuff, new characters, uh, new interactions, new people, all this, all this, all that. I was like, oh, like give me more, give me more, give me more. And I was like, oh man, I don't want the episode to end now. I sat through forty, like almost forty minutes of you know the Trigon stuff. So um, yeah, I mean, God, I'm excited for next week. It just, I just kind of, it's kind of sucks that the situation ended up like this, and we're all, you know, we're all flustered and and all over the place. I really would have liked to sit with it a little more, but you know, we we deal with what we could deal with. Look, I think it's a blessing in disguise because, like I said, it's the first episode, and everything that's happened with this first episode, you know, we don't have a whole crew to talk on about it. It's not going to be a very long episode, so this is a blessing in disguise, you guys. And it's we can't spoil anything, so. Look, this is really good. I feel like for a first episode, this works perfect for our review. But, you know, if the, if the season continues this way, it's not going to be <clears throat> good reviews the rest of the way. I mean, but no, I had don't this, think it will. Right. Had this, I mean, we literally have a day turnaround for the embargo. And, you know, if you don't know what that means, like the embargo on the review, we, you're not, we're not allowed to post it until a specific time. They gave us a specific time. And that time is literally less than less, almost, you know, like 15 hours from when we got the episode. And, you know, you got to edit these things. You got to review these things. Um, got to watch it. We got to watch. I mean, the hour takes a full hour to watch it, and then we have to decide when can everybody get on, when can everybody talk, and you know we're not on the beck and call immediately, so we're trying to, we're just trying our best here. But hopefully, we get the episode a little earlier next week, or the embargo. If the embargo works like the Swamp Things one did, we'll just end up posting spoiler reviews that we're, we'll we'll get more in depth than the one this one was. But I'm I'm optimistic. I've, we used that word fifty times already, but yeah, exactly. I think that's the I think that's the best way to put it. Yeah, so that's far, the point so. of this episode. It's just optimism. Because I, I tell you what, I got a feeling this, this every, how many episodes are we getting? 13? 13, yes. These next 12 episodes, you know, should be good. They should be great. You know, like, it. we know what's supposed to come. Uh, look, it's going to be, it's going to be better than season one. I fully expect it to be better than season one. Um, I'm hoping we get a, get a legitimate wrap up. I mean, we know they're actually filming towards the end of the season now so it's not gonna the hiatus is not gonna happen like did the swamp thing <laughs> they're not gonna cut the last three episodes in the middle of production at least we we hope so so far so i mean that's i mean that's that i mean yeah hopefully so colin i mean any last thoughts before we try to wrap this up nope like i like we've said a thousand times i'll say it again look the episode was fine after the after the trigon stuff so stay optimistic you guys it's right, gonna be it's gonna be good if you like I said earlier, if you start watching it, you didn't like last season. You're it's gonna be a tough thing, but don't turn it off. Don't get like, oh, this is the same BS I had last like last year. Don't like, yeah, don't yeah, because that's what I it. felt. Get through it. It's not the worst thing in the world. Like it could be a lot worse, but I understand how it can like really turn people off because as much as there's like you know the production's good and. You know, everything looks decent. I mean, except for a little... <laughs> you'll notice in the yeah, episode. There's you definitely, you definitely notice. I'm glad I'm There's glad one you glaring that thing that you will notice, and I'm not going <laughs> to point it out here, but they they gave it the old college try, at least. Well, I think that about wraps it up, don't you, Jackson? Yeah, I think that's 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 about it. So uh, uh, where can they find you on social media? They can find me on Twitter at Colin Stetzner. You can find me at JacksonA67. Make sure to follow the page at Full Circle CNA on Twitter. Uh, check out FullCircleCinema.com. And, um, yeah, so make sure to like this video and subscribe if you want more. Uh, we'll be continuing to review Titans, uh, you know, week to week. So just be on the lookout for these every every Thursday or Friday, depending on when, they, when, they, uh, when the embargo's up. So, yeah, we'll talk to you guys later. Thanks, guys.